Ну, если кто-то не знает или не помнит, семья Крецу, Алекс и Анна. Uh, by the way, how do you speak at home? Russian, Bulgarian, English, French? A little bit of everything? Okay. Okay. Ну, я буду говорить с ними по-английски тогда, чтобы, чтобы легче было. So, uh, how many years ago did you have wedding? Two, two years, three months? Ah, this is a test. Okay. So, so a little bit more than two years ago. So, so you were married uh, a little bit over two years ago. I actually officiated the wedding here. We did your wedding here. After that, you moved to Canada. You lived there. You were going to the church. And uh, somehow it happened that there were some, uh, some issues. Apparently, you did not have opportunity to ask, um, you know, to, to do baby dedication. And uh, we feel that uh, we feel privileged that you actually want to do it in our church. We actually rejoice that God gave you a son. I understand his name is Philip, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, God gave you the son, and we are really excited for you. And we wish uh, you and him especially well so that uh, he develops normally and well and everything goes well. Okay. So, why do we do this? Uh, does uh, this thing that we do right now, is this uh, child dedication service or baby dedication service, people call it differently, does it make a person Christian? Let me say no. It does not make specifically a person Christian. Now, your child, your son, will have to make his own decision when the time will come, whether or not to follow God, whether or not to follow Christ. But as parents, you have the desire to bless him. You, you have the desire for God to bless him, and you have the desire to actually ask that blessing and protection and all the best, actually, for your son, right? Am I correct? So, and it's nothing new. Actually, even during the days of Jesus, and we read it in uh, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19, we read um, these two verses, Matthew, chapter 19, verses 13 and 14. Then little children were brought to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and pray for them. But the disciples rebuked those who brought them. Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. When he had placed, when he had placed his hands on them, he went on from there. Amen. So, uh, this passage we read, so even parents in the days of Jesus, they wanted Jesus to bless their children. They saw that Jesus was, at least in their estimation, a prophet of God. Some believed that he was Messiah. Not, not everybody believed that he was Messiah, but they wanted, they wanted Jesus to ask for blessing. They wanted Jesus to pray over them. Now, when parents want God to bless their child, what do they ask? What do you want for your child? Oh, when he comes to age, to be definitely saved. Okay, to be saved when he comes to age. So, to become a Christian, when, uh, to become a follower of Christ when he comes to the age. Okay, maybe health, health yeah. maybe good development, yes. maybe uh, good mental abilities and, you know, all of that. So, health in all respects. And this is normal, you know. The parents want God to protect their children. Because today, and it was true every time, children need protection. Sometimes, uh, in spite of themselves, they need to be protected because they get themselves into trouble. Well, not only children, we all do, right? So, uh, but, and we need God to protect. So this is our desire, this is our request. And look what Jesus says. Jesus says... Jesus responds because initial reaction of the disciples, the disciples are like, well, please keep your children away. Jesus has this important task. He's teaching people and he does everything. Keep your children away from Jesus. Don't bother Jesus with children. That's the disciples' state, right? The disciples, and it's normal. We want children to hush and behave and we are like, shh, and, you know, uh, all of that. And it's normal. But Jesus reacts to that, and he says, let the children come to me. What does this tell me? God likes children. God loves all people. But God likes children, and he loves children. Perhaps because they're so uncorrupted, and in many ways innocent and simple, 
They speak their mind. They have not learned political correctness. They're not deceiving yet most of the times. And when they, when they come to God, they simply come to God. And God, actually Jesus, sometimes said, if your faith will not be like the one that children have, you will not see the kingdom of God. So God likes children. Jesus likes your child. Jesus likes your son, and Jesus wants your child to be blessed. Now, we call, us, we call it also baby dedication service, and, you know, with that, you want to actually dedicate the child. But I would like to say that it's not so much baby dedication as parent dedication. Because in order for that child to grow up, you need to be dedicated to your child. Now, this is sacrifice in everything. Time, expenses, work. Because they do take some work to raise, right? So, what I would like to suggest and I would like to ask, I would like to ask today God to bless you, to give you wisdom to give you dedication to God so that when your child sees you, how you believe in God, that your, your, your son will want to be like you, will want to imitate your faith, okay? And I also want to ask protection for him and all the blessings that God has in store for your Philip, okay? So let's pray. Давайте встанем, помолимся, будем просить, чтобы Господь благословил Филиппа и чтобы Господь послал всякое благословение для него. Anna? If you would pray, and then Alex and myself. Heavenly Father, thank you for uh, this beautiful day, and thank you for giving us uh, uh, our son, Philip. I pray that you uh, bless him abundantly. I pray that he becomes a strong man of God, and that he follows you throughout all his life. I pray that you give us wisdom as parents um, to be diligent and to teach him from your word, and uh, that we are a good example um, for him to follow. And I pray that um, you help us. And I want to thank you for all the family and support and church that you have brought us to. And um, um, thank you for all this. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Dear Holy Father, we thank you for this blessed day. We thank you for the sunshine that you send on us, for your grace and mercy. And first and foremost, I want to thank you for the blessed, uh, your son, blessed Jesus Christ, that died for us, that shed his blood, that washed and renewed our sins and our souls, and every day we can come to you. No matter what we have done, you are always ready to receive us, and uh, we pray that you forgive us. We pray that you help us to be a light and a sunshine into this world, and especially for our son. We pray that uh, you set a hedge of protection around him. We pray that you bless him and that he may one day come to know you as Lord and Savior and uh, have that hope of life everlasting. We pray that you help us to always remember that we are pilgrims on this earth, that we are heaven-bound, and to help us to always have that uh, of you. pray that you bless this church, bless every single member, bless all the children here, that they continue to be a, a light and a sunshine, a sunshine. We pray that you set up a hedge of protection in these dark days, and uh, we pray all this in Jesus' name, our Lord and Savior. Amen. God, we thank you so much for Philip. We thank you so much for this family, for Alex and for Anna. I want to ask you to bless them. When I ask you to bless Philip and give him all the health that he needs, all the protection that he needs, and every single thing that he will need to become a grown-up, and not just any grown-up, but we want him to grow up into being a follower of you, so bless him, help him, help him to grow well, give him physical health, emotional health, spiritual health. When I ask you, God, that you would speak to his heart and speak to his mind when he will come into age, when he will understand your word so that he would actually choose you and that he would choose to follow you. Bless him. And we also would like to ask for his parents. We ask for Alex. We ask for Anna. 
We ask you to bless them and help them to be a good example for their child. Help them as father and mother to take good care of the baby and help them to truly, truly teach him what it means to live a good life, a life that is dedicated to you. Bless this family. Give them everything that they need. All this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Bless you. We have something special for you. Since uh, you are such an international family, uh, we will give you this uh, children's Bible, and it's uh, international. Actually, it's Russian and English together. So um, we don't have Russian, English, and Bulgarian, but we will give you Russian and English. So uh, this is a gift for you, for Philip. So read it to him, and uh, may he know the Lord. Okay? God bless. Take your seats. Пожалуйста, занимайте места, сейчас служение хора.